Hi, and welcome to LRNT 528, Facilitating in Digital Environments. My name is Clint Lalonde, and I am the instructor for the course, and I want this course overview video to give you an idea of what you can expect over the next nine weeks in this course. Uh, in this course, you and your team are going to design and facilitate a digital learning experience based on a contemporary issue of interest. This experiential course will enable you to put into practice a lot of the skills and the competencies that you have learned throughout your entire degree and will empower you to use those skills and competencies to facilitate a learning experience with and for your peers. Uh, throughout the course, you're going to gain a deep and nuanced perspective on designing and facilitating digital learning using the tools and the practices that experienced professionals employ in their day-to-day -day work. Now, of course, the unique feature of this course is its extensive experiential component. In particular, you're going to be collaboratively designing and delivering a week-long learning module grounded in the online learning theories and models that we'll talk about in unit number one. You're going to participate as a learner in those learning modules that have been developed and uh, delivered by your peers. You'll develop some practical skills in online learning facilitation and evaluate and provide some peer feedback on your experiences, both as a facilitator and a learner. There are five learning outcomes for this course. Uh, you will demonstrate the appropriate use of student-centered facilitation strategies, design and facilitate a digital learning experience based on a contemporary issue, be able to compare and contrast digital learning facilitation strategies, and to evaluate a facilitated digital learning experience. There are three units in this course. Unit one is an introduction to facilitation. It's four weeks long. We'll take a closer look at a model called the Community of Inquiry model and where facilitation fits into that model. That model is going to be our theoretical background uh, that will hang the rest of our, our uh, discussions on and the rest of the course on. So we'll look at the Community of Inquiry model and facilitation in unit number one. Then we're going to take a look at the two dominant modes of online course delivery, asynchronous and synchronous, and the role of the facilitator in both of those modes. Uh, in addition to the course readings, you're going to have a number of activities in those first four weeks. Uh, you're going to be creating an infographic, writing a couple of blog posts, creating a video where you reflect on a facilitated learning experience that you've had, and take part in uh, asynchronous discussions using a chat tool called Mattermost, which I will send you the link to in your introduction uh, email. Uh, as well, you're going to be forming your facilitation groups, picking your facilitation topic, and designing your week-long learning module. So it is a busy unit. Those first four weeks fly by, and there's a lot happening in those first four weeks. Unit two is also four weeks long. It's uh, your facilitation weeks. Uh, each week, a facilitation team takes the reins of the course and will facilitate both asynchronous and synchronous activities for the rest of the cohort. Uh, and when you're in the learner role, you will not only be doing the tasks uh, that the facilitation teams ask you to do, but you'll also be doing a little bit of a meta-analysis of the week and providing some peer feedback each week to the facilitation team. Unit three is one week long. Uh, it's a reflective unit where you're going to write a blog post and complete your final reflective paper. So there's not a lot of activities in that final week. I want to give you some time to be able to dive in to finish up your final paper. Uh, in terms of assessment, 25% of your grade is going to be based on the infographic and the blog post in Unit 1. Another 25% of your grade is going to come from the design and the facilitation of your facilitation week. Uh, with a small percentage, 5% uh, uh, team uh, peer analysis uh, of your facilitation group. 30% uh, of your grade is based on your final reflective paper, and the final 15% of the grade is your participation grade. That's it for this course video. For the next steps, I encourage you to read the two sections just below this video on how the course flows and the section on my own presence in this course that will give you more information on how you can contact me over the next nine weeks. Thanks, and I will see you all in Mattermost.